Ah, where did this come from? Brand new line at Walmart. We got one. This is the Heart. Yes, that's the name. Heart. The impact driver is a quarter inch. Sold exclusively at Walmart. Didn't even know they had these. I was walking through the store today, seen it, grabbed it, paid about $69 for it. I want to use and abuse, see what it's all about. We're going to put it through a bunch of tests today to find out if it's worth the money. So what I'm going to do is start setting up, put on the intro, and you might as well get subscribed while I'm doing that. Check it out, we got a treated four by six here. This is what we're going to use and abuse that tool with. So Hart, this is a brand new line, only sold at Walmart stores. Again, I seen it today, didn't even know they were out there. And at the time of this video being uploaded, they're not even in all of the Walmart stores yet. So what are you going to get with the impact driver? You're going to get the charger, you're going to get the 1.5 AH 20 volt battery. And before you ask, yes, I tried the DeWalt batteries on it. I tried all kinds of different batteries. None of them fit. Only the heart batteries work on that. I was hoping, though. Now, the box that I bought, the kit that I bought, only comes with the 1.5. But you can buy other kits with different batteries. The largest battery they have at the moment is the 4.0. So you got the 1.5, the 2.0, and then the 4.0. Now the battery charger itself is very small. It functions just like any other battery charger. You know, you got the blinking lights telling you when it's charging, when it's done charging, all that good stuff. But I will tell you, it took me over an hour to charge a 1.5 battery. Now, that was a pretty long time. Now, the one thing that I was really impressed with right off the bat is check out that call it. There is no wobble at all with that thing. Everything up front, all metal. So that's a good thing. Now you do have a variable speed trigger with this. I'll show you that here in a bit, but as far as it goes with installing the bits, taking them out, everything works very smoothly. It does a good job holding those bits in there real nice and snug. I really thought I was going to see a lot more wobble than I did, but it's almost perfect when it comes to just how precise that is up in front. So really happy with that. Let's check out the variable speed. just an FYI you don't have any other speed settings other than that variable speed and you don't have that fast insert on the actual call it itself but let's check out some screws here so a variable speed works really really good you can go as slow as you want or as fast as you want check that out pretty nice and again Feels really balanced, so I'm happy with that. All right, so that offers you a little bit of control. Good thing to see. Let me move this camera and give you a better view. And that was real nice like. All right, so let's move it along to something a little more tough. Yep, we got some really long lag screws here. We're going to see how it does. We got our special bit. We're going to drive her on down. All right, let's start it out on slow. All right, we're going full bore here. Oh, uh-oh. Getting hung up there. That's not good. So it just stopped. It's not going anywhere. It's not going down. It's not coming back out. I was really kind of disappointed in that. But I wanted to see something. I wanted to throw a Ryobi on there to see if that would do anything. And then I even moved it up to a rigid. So let me go get that. And there's my Ryobi. Yeah, cop tool. Ryobi, not Ryobi. Don't let our friends at cop tool brainwash you. But let's see if that will do it. And no. I 
I mean, that thing's really wedged in there. So I thought, okay, well, the heart wasn't able to handle it. The Ryobi probably would be able to, but it didn't. So I went back and got my rigid impact driver. I wanted to see what it would do. And well... It didn't do it either. So my one conclusion was the board must have been moist. And to be fair, we're only using a 1.5 battery. If we had the four point battery on there, then I think it would have went down no problem. But the Milwaukee Gen 3 comes to save the day. Freaking beast. All right, so let's move it along now. We have another one. I am not going to go slow. I am just going to go down as fast as I can. I'm going to add a little bit of pressure, see what it does here. All right, so about the same. And, oh, FYI, there's no pilot holes for any of these. So now we're going to move it up. we got a different type here. The threads are a little bit longer on this, so we're going to see how this does. It's a torque style, and here we go. All right, that worked fine, no issue there. We're going to bring it back up. We're gonna move it along to our next test and see what we can do. These are getting bigger and badder, so we're gonna drive a lag down through the treated four by six and see how it hangs. All right, so three eighth, eight inch long, and we're just gonna drive it down. The threads up here, well, they should be okay, so we're gonna switch that out. Right, we're gonna add that there, and yeah, we're ready. Ah, look at her go. It's not bad. It's starting to slow down. Okay, it started out strong. I will tell you, there's no skipping with those impacts. Usually those cheaper impacts, you'll feel a skip, 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 and then it'll engage and hammer and then skip. And nothing with that. It's it stopped, but at least you're not getting that skipping. All right, let's move it over to a half-inch lag again. No pilot holes for it. I want to see how this does. We did run into a bit of an issue with the half-inch. I'll, I'll talk about it here right after, but just giving you a view. Now, here we go. This is going to be the test. The half-inch. Will it drive it the whole way down? I have never had an impact driver fail me yet. Here we go. She's a good one, baby. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. Hit the bell notification. Share it with your friends. Here we go. Now it's starting to slow down. Yeah, we're, we still got some more here. Let's see what it does. My camera's going a little crazy because of the vibration here. Man, oh man. Yeah, I took a little nap and then I woke up and I was still going. Now, it did do the job. It brought it all the way down. If you had a pilot hole, then you shouldn't have any issue. And remember, it is a 1.5, but that is not the concern that I had. The concern that I had is this is not one mold for the casing. It is two pieces that are pretty much basically put together. When I had the half inch lag and I really just kept on going with it and beating down on it, I could feel not much but a little separation between the two pieces if you look real close with the black and the white right between that stripe where the two pieces come together you can see they're shifted just a hair so putting these through a heavy duty you know lag without pilot holes or heavy duty industrial you're gonna have that issue I'm just letting you know all right, so let me give you some specs on this real quick. Then I'll give you the final thoughts on this, and then I'll tell you what we're going to do with it later this week. So you got up to 1,700 inch-pounds of torque. The variable speed trigger, which works pretty well, not the smoothest I've ever used, but does a pretty good job, 0 to 2,500 RPM. Oh, and FYI, you do have the LED light down there on the bottom. It is pretty bright. It is the quarter-inch quick-connect chuck. 
the tool itself, it doesn't feel bad in the hands. You're only looking at about 2.6 pounds without the battery, but even with the battery, it's still pretty light. It's a little bit larger. It reminds me of Ryobi. They were looking at Ryobi tools when they designed that, I can tell you. But again, the feel, really not all that bad. I mean, it does feel a little bit wider in the hand. In the palm section, you can tell that the, the grip, the handle, it's just a little bit bigger than I'm used to. But it does grip pretty nice, and you do have some traction on it, so it won't slip out of your hands when it's wet. You do get a three-year limited warranty on that, which is pretty nice. But as far as it goes with use, if you're a mechanic you know that works professionally in a shop, if you are using this on lags or lugs or something that's really going to put it through its paces, you got to be careful with it. I, I really got to be honest with you. It's not a heavy industrial tool. It's not meant for that. I, I really think that they are gearing this strictly for the homeowners. The one thing that concerned me was I could feel the separation. Very little, mind you, but I could feel it in my hand as I was sinking that half-inch lag. Now, what's cool about this, and, and again, we have nothing to do with Heart Tools. We have no sponsorship. I bought this with my own money. I did not realize how many tools they actually have. They have drills. They have, you know, oscillation tools. They got outdoor power equipment. They got hedge cutters. They got blowers. But they only go up to a 4.0 battery, and from what I've seen with the charge time on the battery, it, it took a while to charge the 1.5, so I'm hoping they have some larger chargers out there that will work a little bit quicker. I will also tell you that at this moment, you know, they do have probably 20 tools, 15, 20 tools. They really do look like they were modeled after the Ryobi. If you were to put them side by side with Ryobi, you would think that they were almost the same company other than the colors. So for me, because Ryobi has way more tools, I would invest in that line rather than the heart line. But if you're a homeowner that's walking through Walmart, not necessarily looking for tools, right? Maybe you're going to pick up some bread and milk and you say, oh, I could use an impact driver. Well, this would be sitting on the shelf and it would look pretty cool and it would probably do what you needed to do around the house. Now, with that said, we are going to put these up against all other impacts. We're going to start it out with Ryobi. We're going to put them head to head for a tool duel later this week. Then if it beats the Ryobi, we are going to put it up against Rigid, then the DeWalt's, the Makita's, and Milwaukee's, and whatever else. But you have to be a subscriber to see all that. So. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and squeeze that like button because it helps the video out. Also, come over and say hi to us on the Instagram page, at Tool Review Zone. I would really like to see you over there. Appreciate you all stopping by, and we'll be back with more videos soon.